Well, going to the dentist isn't any fun. It can be painful, and for some Oklahomans, it's nearly impossible to go at all. That's because there just aren't enough dentists in rural Oklahoma. According to the Oklahoma Dental Foundation, statistics show nearly 21,000 Oklahomans are doing without dental care. Now, five Oklahoma counties, Cole, Cotton, Dewey, Harmon, and Roger Mills, have no practicing dentists at all. But as our Kathy Holzenbeck found, an Oklahoma dental school is offering some solutions. Dr. Chance Lawless left Rattan, Oklahoma to become a dentist eight long years ago. Now he's ready to return to his neck of the woods. I think he'll really be valuable to, to a smaller community. And I wish I could say all our residents went into the smaller areas, but you know, some do, some don't. This year, two of the six graduating residents at OU's Advanced Education and General Dentistry program are returning to their rural roots. Most of, most of the students in dental school, if you'll do a comparison of the class, you know, you'll find that most of those people are from the bigger cities. They're from Oklahoma City, Tulsa areas. And unless you're from a smaller area, you, know, you, don't, you don't just come from Oklahoma City and, and then go back to a smaller area in general. So most of the people that go back to smaller areas were from there initially. There's a real big need in rural Oklahoma, and uh, I'm not in a position where I personally track statistics on that, but it seems like the majority of graduates don't all return to small towns even when they come from small towns. So I think Oklahomans still need people who are willing to go back to these smaller areas and practice. Dr. Lawless has been working in Durant on weekends. The practice he will soon be joining is already booked three months out. First, he must finish with one final difficult patient, me. You had veneers on, on from canine to canine up front, which is number tooth number six and number 11. Um, you had those veneers done, I think, about 11 years ago. As a child, I had asthma. And as many people born in the late 60s and early 70s would learn, the medicine, tetracycline, used to save our lives would forever stain our teeth. Dr. Barry Greenley screened my case. He knew the biggest challenge would be to make my teeth look natural while blocking out the darkness. He had no doubt Dr. Lawless was up to the task. And uh, I just love how he goes about his methodology and analysis on cases. Well, we're, we're very interested in treating aesthetic cases here. And unfortunately, I feel like we actually have a shortage on those kinds of cases where they're actually a good case. Once a patient is accepted into the program, they will pay 30 to 50 percent less than at a private practice, all while getting state-of-the-art dental care. We really try to manage this like a business, and we've been able to invest in some high-tech things that have really have made us cutting edge, you know. The residents already have their license to practice dentistry in Oklahoma. They're just looking for more experience when they enter the program. Uh, we like our residents to be self-motivated, ask us tough questions that I may not know the answer to, and then say, why don't both of us look that up, and then we can get back and, and talk about things. But Dentists here see everything. Single visit crowns, dentures, partials, root canals, and implants. No case is routine or ordinary, as I was about to find out. Dr. Lawless had molded a beautiful set of natural looking crowns. Only my gums did not cooperate and recede to where they met my teeth. So we had to recast the molds, remake the temporary crowns, and wait for the lab to do its job. I would let any of these guys work on me at any time. I mean, I'm, I know them all real well and I feel like the standard of care here is excellent. And Oklahomans aren't afraid to travel miles for that care. But I, we, we have them come from all over the state. The patients aren't the only ones to receive a payoff. The most rewarding part for me is definitely the growth I see in the residents from when they begin the program in July till they finish the next June, how much they learn and how, how much better they are, how much better providers they are. So that's, that's very rewarding. It's a huge difference. Well, joining me now is our Kathy Holson Bake. Well, let's see them. Well, what do you think? They look great and quite good, they do. I'm really proud of them, and you know, they say a million dollar smile. This isn't quite that close because it's a lot cheaper at the OU Dental Clinic. Yeah, well, you know, and I think an important point to make here is, you know, we first started working together while you were still in college, and I distinctly remember, oh, so many years ago, that you were self-conscious about the way your teeth looked. Oh, yeah, they were gray. And 
I would talk like this and I wouldn't smile and and you know at that time it was personal but when I became a, a television reporter it affected my delivery and you can't really do your job like that so I got my first veneers uh, 14 years ago probably Ele no 11 years ago mm -hmm. and um, it made a big difference in how I express myself so while a lot of people who consider cosmetic surgery as an elective, it really is probably more important to a lot of people. It is, and at, in my case, the old veneers started cracking because they were 11 years old, and they, they only lasted at that time for eight years. These should be, these are actually crowns, and they should last for 20 years until I don't have any teeth. <laughs> okay, let's talk a little bit about the dental school. While uh, people like you went to it because you think it's a great deal, there are some people out in this world that it's their only choice. Oh yeah, and one of the patients at the clinic had grown a really long mustache because he had no teeth. And so that covered it up, and you know, it had to affect the, the way he ate and everything else, but when he went to the clinic and got his new false teeth, the mustache was gone. It was a different person. You know, he had to have that. And then there's another, they have uh, implants for people who have partials and would rather have implants. Um, and, and it's state of the art equipment and it's a licensed dentist doing it, mm -hmm. but they're just going to owe you to get more experience. The, they're training the next generation now. And again, it's state of the art equipment, but it's also at a somewhat of a reduced cost. Oh yeah, you, you have to pay, it's not free. But you will pay 30 to 70% less than you would in a private practice. Well, a nice story and certainly a great program. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the OU Dental School, you can read more about it in the January edition of Oklahoma Living. And we have a link to that story on our website at okhorizon.com. Just click on Value Added.